This is the third and final video in our little trio about really big numbers and the famed 666. Links to all of them can be found in the video description. Apocalypse. Apocalypse, yes, apocalypse. Yeah. So apocalypse numbers are just numbers with 666 digits. Okay, so that's pretty basic, and that's not particularly exciting. Mm. But you can ask, are there any that have interesting features? So you could ask, what about the ones that are prime numbers? So the prime apocalypses. Okay, so again, you can just write a nice simple computer code that can find these for you. And it's not too difficult. So let me just tell you about, the, about them. And we'll see if we can read anything into them. We'll play our silly game again, okay? okay. So what's the first apocalypse prime? So imagine the first number that is an apocalypse number will be one with 665 zeros Correct. after it. I'm going to guess, I'm going to hope that the first one is one, 664 zeros, and then a one. No. Ah, oh. it's not. Soz. No. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It's That's not. composite. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It <laughs> what is. is it? It's this one. So it's one with lots and lots of zeros. Yeah. And then it ends with one, two, three. Oh, it's okay. the first one. Yeah. You like the one, two, three structure there? It's nice. You're happy with that. I was yeah. only out by 122. <laughs> yeah, you were only out by a few. That's true. Yeah. So this is the first. Okay. Whatever, I don't know. I just don't know what to make of that. I don't know what, to, what I'm going to do with that. But let's do the next one. Mm -hmm. The next one, there's a bit of a jump to the next one. Not, not a massive jump. The next one ends with 1837. Okay, so 1837, what's that got to do? That sounds like a date. Should we have, should, maybe that's a date, right? Yeah. Okay, what date? 1837, what happened in 1837? Well, I looked it up. A few things happened. There was a big earthquake in Syria. Lots of people died. Devastating earthquake in Syria. Queen Victoria ascended to the throne. So that's a significant world event. New York was kicking off, left, right and centre. There were loads of riots in New York City, basically driven by poverty. The banks were failing as well, so that happens. I'm not sure this is a good candidate for the apocalypse, to be honest, on balance. Yeah. So the next one after this is, well, this. OK, that's the next prime apocalypse. Now, that's the future, right? So maybe, maybe, maybe we should be worried about that date. Mm. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Right? Okay, so that, that's when Everton will next win the league. <laughs> that wouldn't be, I think that's much later, mate. That's much less, not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, there was 1995, was the last time they won anything, and then they did nothing, nothing for a long time after. Okay, uh, so, so how many apocalypse primes are there in this, in this span? Yeah, so there's probably around. So, the way you can, you can ask this is you can ask, um, you know, about the prime counting function, which is, which is basically how many, so the prime counting function pi of n basically tells you how many prime numbers are smaller than n, essentially. How many do you get up to n? And you know how this behaves for large n, because it's known that this goes like n over log n. So you can use this prime counting function to work out how many are between uh, 667 digits and, 600, and, and, 600, and the last 665th digit, if you like. So if you do that estimate, um, you find that there's going to be about by my count estimate, about 5.9 times 10 to the 662 prime numbers that have 666 digits. So there should be about this many apocalypse primes. That's a lot. I would have thought when numbers got that big, primes were going to be more sparse than that. Well, and they do. Prime numbers, they do. They, 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 but, but the problem is... There's so many of them. You're talking about a huge range. There's a lot of 666 digit numbers. There's an awful lot of them. And so, yeah, actually, whilst it does get, you know, it, it, density does go down, it's, there's still a lot of them because you're covering a large range. It's all a bit unsatisfactory, I think, this. I think because there are a lot. I agree. Don't like that there's a lot. So, well, actually, what Pickover is looking for, he looks for Fibonacci numbers that are apocalypse. So Fibonacci apocalypse numbers. Now that's a slightly different question. Mm. So if you remember what the Fibonacci sequence is, so it's Fibonacci sequence is, is something like the following. So you start off with zero and one, take the two, two numbers before and add them together to get the next one. So I take the two numbers before, zero and one, add them together, one, right? Now I take the two numbers before, which is one and one, add them together, I get two. Two numbers before, it's one and two, add them together, I get three. And you can carry on, right? Build the Fibonacci sequence. At some point, you would expect, maybe you would or maybe you wouldn't, that I'm going to start getting 666 digit numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. Now, where are they? Okay. So again, you write a computer code, you find them. Okay, so that's what I did. Um, although some of these were already known. And it turns out... I would have thought there weren't many. 
No, there's not. There's oh. not. There's only a handful, right? But they, they do exist. So the, if we call sort of the, you know, the nth Fibonacci number Fn, then it turns out the, this one is Apocalypse. So this, this is the 3,184th Fibonacci number that has 666 digits. In fact, the next one does as well. That one does as well. In fact, you, if you go up to 3188, that one does as well. So all those do, but the next one won't. So there are five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's five of them. Yeah, exactly. That's it. And also, maybe these are years. <laughs> I can't resist it. I can't resist it. And none of these are prime. No. So, um, so that's, a, that's another feature to it. So there are five mm -hmm. 666 digit long Fibonacci numbers. Exactly. I did not know that before today. Yeah, and of course the Fibonacci numbers, you know, they're, they're kind of, whilst primes are interesting, Fibonacci seems to have something to do with nature. It seems that, you know, the, the, the Fibonacci sequence does show up a lot in nature. You know, we know that, that the, the growth of, of sort of biological systems seems to recognize the Fibonacci sequence. We know that you see the, the golden ratio in nature. Um, and of course the Fibonacci sequence, the, the, the ratio of the numbers, it tends to the golden ratio. So who knows, maybe there's something in this. Ridiculous. Love it, love it, man, that's brilliant. I love that, I love that stuff. I could talk about this all day. Ever write down plus one, okay? You, you couldn't do something like that because obviously, you know, you're gonna get caught into logical loops, it's, it's gonna be a nightmare, it, it, it's considered ungentlemanly, okay? So you couldn't do that. The room was packed and Rayo went first. Now what Rayo did was he wrote down a series of about 30 or 40 ones. So it seems like a large number, 